Well, well, well. Acer has launched the new 2023 versions of the Nitro 5 laptops and they are not what I was expecting because these are not based on AMD's latest and greatest Zen 4 architecture. They come with the new Ryzen 7000 CPUs and still retain the RTX 3050 GPU. I think these are going to be the cheaper variants and I'm hoping that the ones with the Zen 4 CPUs and RTX 40 series GPUs will be coming later due to <coughs> unknown reasons. These laptops have launched at a decent price of 80,000 for the Ryzen 5 model and around 90,000 for the Ryzen 7 model which I think will go down further because I don't think that these CPUs can compete with the 12 gen core i5 at least in multi-core performance. Both the CPUs are the HS variants which according to AMD are for premium thin and light laptops. Interesting. Both these are based on the Zen 3 plus architecture which basically means that they are rebranded Ryzen 6000 CPUs. This Ryzen 5 75 35HS is just a rebranded 6600H and this Ryzen 7 7735 hs is just a rebranded 6800H. Both come with 50 MHz higher boost clocks and feature minor upgrades to the TDP as well. Notice how this naming scheme is really confusing. It's because the Ryzen 7000 series includes all the CPUs right from the Zen 1 architecture all the way up to Zen 4. Talk about rebranding. Other upgrades this laptop brings include an AMD FreeSync display although it's the same 100 144Hz IPS panel with 62% sRGB color gamut. Acer has also added the MUX switch this year but the TGP of the GPU is not mentioned. Also for connectivity we get the new Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2 and also the killer Ethernet. The build and design has not changed much, in fact it's the same as this one and it still has the same old 57.5 watt hour battery. We also don't get any USB 4 ports, deal with it. It has two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one of which also supports power of charging. The laptop offers support for DDR5 memory and PCIe Gen 4 storage just like the Ryzen 6000 series. You can upgrade the RAM to up to 32GB but there's no mention of any expendable storage on the official page. However, since the battery is the smaller 57Wh one, I think we will see the same storage expansion options including two Gen 4 M.2 slots and one extra SATA 3 slot right besides the battery just like last year. So I think these laptops will be great value for people who are looking for some solid performance with the latest specs but only if the prices go below the competing 12th gen core i5 variants. Meanwhile this is a Nitro 5 with the 12th gen core i5 remains the value king for me. Check this video out to find out more about it and if you like the content then please subscribe to help out your boy.